Hello everybody, my name is Weefies and welcome back. In a game that's mainly devoted to exploring your world and imagining and creating, etc., Minecraft does lack a bit of variation in its many temples. Of course, through many updates, this has been fixed with such amazing creations such as the Ocean Temple and the Woodland Mansion, but eventually things are getting old and it seems that most of the temples do the same thing. I mean, generated structures are lovely. I got these pants from a shipwreck that I found. But most of these challenges, most of the temples don't really inspire any new type of thinking. Uh, the thing that I think needs to be in every generated dungeon is there has to be a reason for the player to want to go there, and it has to offer a new level of playing the game. Uh, the Ocean Temple does this quite well. You can It's the only place you can get really Prismarine as well as Guardian and Elder Guardian and Sea Lanterns. But things such as the ancient the jungle temple only give you sticky pistons as well as no sense of great difficulty by avoiding said traps. A desert temple, similar, you can get some nice stuff such as name tags, but you can also obtain this through villager trades and just regular dungeons, which is why I see no point in having these desert temples. And of course, what they do provide is as somewhat to be cautious of the pressure play, but it's so easy to disarm, it's not even fun. Woodland Mansions, yeah, they're cool, you can get the Totem of Undying, but it's just mobs. It's more like an above-ground ocean temple. So today, well, I'm going to be showing you five temples that I think would be great if they were in Minecraft, because I think they give, they make the game a little bit more interesting, but maybe they aren't so good. But before I do start the video, I want to say two things. First of all, if you do enjoy any moment of this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And secondly, this concept was inspired by IBX Toycat, an amazing one of my new favorite YouTubers with over 1 million subscribers. So if you do actually enjoy this video, you should check his, vid should check his video out because it's so much better than mine. His ideas are godly. But be sure to check him out once more because this is really just inspired by him and it would be unfair to do this without giving him credit. And let's get straight into today's video. Excuse me, uh, I meant four temples. I meant four, my bad. Anyway, the first thing we're going to be introducing is the little shack. Uh, this, this generated constructor can appear on any island, although I'm not a Mojang Pro and I don't know how they would detect islands. I'm sure it's possible. And I can just remove these trousers. Uh, anyway, we have a very nice island. Trust me, it is an island. And it, unsuspicious at all. That's naturally spawning. If we go down, this is a naturally generated cave. I just made it look nice a bit. And before I do begin, my building skills are awful. So, excuse that. Anyway, here we have the nice little shack. Now, be warned, my interior decorating is pretty garbage. But if we do hop inside, we see a nice little bunker. If we hop into this room, we can see a nice little nether wart farm, which gives the player a reason to get in here. Apart from the coral blocks that can litter the outside, as well as a free anvil torch holder, I think it's really cool that you can get some nether wart without going to the nether. Furthermore, you can get a brewing stand, and I put some instant damage potions, although it can be changed to the player's likes, as well as a jukebox, which would normally require one diamond, and I think this is really cool. In the chest, we got some emeralds, because that used to be a currency before... But the villagers still use it at least and I think this is really nice under these trap doors we do have glowstone so just another benefit of actually going to these temples but under this trap door oh as well as a red bed because you don't see those much often and some books but over here we have a little basement with another anvil for you and we're gonna go back to the basement but you also may notice this uh, this is the new aspect so this is the new challenge aspect that I've introduced into temples and that is the puzzle aspect Going into this will give you a puzzle. Unlike the Jungle Temple, which has a three lever combination, this has a nine by three by three lever lock. And if you flick these two, you are now in the correct position, but you will notice that if we hop into the basement, there is actually no change. And I wanna mention this, this lock, this lever has to be on like in this position or else it will not work, but moving on, you may also notice this is empty, and that is because we have to actually flick it to the same position as all the other as this anvil, because this anvil hints at it. So if we actually put the anvil in 
this position. Wait, okay, maybe I did the wrong position. Check now. I believe it's a similar, although I, yeah, okay, that's it. So if we actually put the anvil in the upright position, then, to, uh, sorry, to match it up with this one, you'll notice that the door does open. That is the only working position, and this door now reveals a little passageway. And what's cool about this is that if players just dig around, I added a little layer to discourage them. What I mean is that if we actually get something wrong and we hop down, you can see that there is an extra layer. Of course, they'll see the piston, but if they just mine and ignore the piston, then maybe they'll be they'll assume there's nothing. But this very nice little area allows the player to go down, collect yet another anvil, some more glowstone, and an enchantment table. And I do not have anything in this chest, and it is a trap chest for no reason, and as well some books. So I think players would love to find this in the in an island because it's just a little cool structure. And it's kind of like a bunker, and I think it really adds a lot to the Minecraft lore and other stuff. But tell me your thoughts in the comment section, and we're going to move on to the next one. Now, because we want to give a new level of challenge for each respective dungeon, as well as a new purpose, as well as some new items, uh, this one is going to appear in the Nether. This is my least favorite, simply because, as I said, I am awful at building, which means that my building skills are going to be very limited. But there we have it. The earthworm design is again inspired by IBX Toy Cat because uh, obviously he made a similar worm and I just tried to make it a bit more devourer style. Now this looks disgusting like a meatloaf, but we're going to ignore that and hop into it. And the challenge here that this inspires is the magma blocks. Obviously you can't MLG because as you may know, water just uh, evaporates it instantly. Obviously you can mine down the side, but I think this is actually a really nice thing. A little nice challenge, you can go down into its stomach, and if you fall into lava, you're kind of screwed. But in the chest, I have some potions, which make it nice, as well as some blaze rods and a wither skeleton skull, which will be a very nice reward to those who dare venture down here. And looking for those, instead of killing mobs, this is kind of a ripoff idea, but yeah. And next one. We have popped into a savanna biome, and that is because this next challenge is the my personal favorite design. This is the savanna temple. I don't actually have a name for it, but as you might have guessed, the challenge it gives is parkour. First of all, there's no guaranteed way up, and the building is quite tall, so unlike IBX's birch forest temple, if you did watch the video, where you can just walk to the top with a few simple blocks, this one is a bit more difficult, although you can just pillar up, but really, some people just want to enjoy the game, and I respect that. Anyway, if we go in here, you see there's actually a diamond ore. I am not sure about this feature, because I feel that it will easily be, it's a free diamond, but it is cool. Nevertheless, if we get up, there is no spawnable blocks for mobs in here, so you are perfectly safe, because with this torch, I believe, and the parkour is all possible. I tested it before, and I feel like... I cannot play parkour while recording. Yeah, okay, we're just we're just gonna pro parkour skills. I like the architecture. The trap doors is a very limited color palette, but very nice. And now, what I hate about dungeons is that sometimes you can reach the chests by like clicking before even doing the last jump. So I wanted to avoid that because I, as a <coughs> pro Minecraft player, that was a joke. As a pro Minecraft player, uh, I of course, you know. I know this, that you people do this, and I wanted to avoid it because it annoys me that people can do it so simply, so you actually have to make the last jump, which isn't that difficult, but you can bump your head. And now, only when you're on this block is it possible to hit this, get a free jukebox, as well as some arrows of strength where you can throw them upon yourself, as well as a diamond and some music discs. And I think this is a really nice temple because parkour isn't something you get to experience a lot in the game. And seeing one of these in your world will be very nice. And it just looks really cool. I love the architecture. For this final one, we are in the taiga biome. And excuse another portal. But this taiga biome, this was the hardest one to build because I kept failing. And this, in the taiga biome, if you may know, wolves spawn. And I thought, let's, I thought, let's make something related to wolves because that'd be cool. And there we have it, the wolf cave is the new aspect of the game. So, what have we got here? 
first of all we have some pressure plates and I'm going to avoid these because under these pressure plates is actually TNT and it blends in with the stone very well. What this inspires unlike the desert temple is always being on guard. Now I'm pretty sure the player will notice these pressure plates and a skilled player I know there are many out there will break these pressure plates and that is fine but the point is it gives you the sense of caution it gives you the aura of like you're you don't know I don't want to say you're scared but you're being more cautious and that's something you don't experience throughout the game much maybe you're bridging through lava but this temple or thing inspires you to always make sure like where you're looking always be aware of your surroundings and it just makes the player have a new experience that they don't the new feelings they don't experience often in the actual playing of the game which is why I love this temple so much so if we just walk around these you'll see we actually have a free reward of two wolves and some bone blocks which are pretty rare although I do believe you can craft them I'm not really sure if that works but I'm not gonna test it anyway you get some bone blocks and we can just walk down here be very careful not to walk on this pressure plate because it's really you can't tell it's there and you can just walk on it it's so easily and blow yourself up I don't know how you're gonna ever walk on that one but if you're trying to run away or if I put one here or on the stairs or literally anywhere these just make you cautious and I think the sense of caution is something you don't experience again so that's why I think this idea is really cool also you get two free dogs these doggles will be there for you I don't think they're gonna be tamed I just had them do this for sitting purposes and if you actually break this carpet you see there is a chest but do not get fooled uh, under this trap chest you may see a gray block but that is because I recently figured out you can put TNT under a block so if we open this chest uh, the TNT will go everywhere and I will demonstrate we're gonna get out of here so hopefully none of us die on the way out we can just boom and if we just place if we just whew, if we just went really fast actually I'll demonstrate so you're walking into the cave you see like wow this guy's not gonna get me look at this noob trap and then you're just walking down the stairs and then yeah they're not going to blow each other up just because the radius thing, but if we open this, obviously it's going to blow up. And this one will not blow up. But, you know, you get the idea. This lists, this isn't probably my favorite dungeon, not because how it looks, because I'm bad at building, but because of how it makes you feel. And those are the four dungeons that I thought structures that I think would really be beneficial to Minecraft just because they make you feel some new things and they introduce new aspects of challenge into the game and obviously they give you unique rewards like dogs so this is an adoption shelter so thank you so much for watching this video if you have enjoyed then be sure to leave a like and subscribe and be sure to check out ibx's channel he is an amazing youtuber 100 percent and i'll see you all next time bye Tonight is no one on our side who's gonna help our souls tonight.